One way that you can share your web page with everyone is by hosting it on GitHub. So the first step is making a GitHub Pages account. So I'm going to go in here and pick a username. As I type it in, it's going to let me know if somebody already has that one or not. So here we go. I've created web designer for everyone. Make sure that whatever username you pick makes sense because this is going to be part of the URL for your site. So pick something simple, um, not a lot of upper or lower case, and something that really kind of um, describes why you're building your site. Go ahead and put in an email. And a password. Okay, once you've logged in, what you want to do is you want to create your account. So when you click on create an account, what's going to happen is that they're going to send you, well first, you have to decide what kind of plan you want. We're going to go with the free plan. We don't need anything special, um, and you don't really need to probably get updates from GitHub News or anything like that. We're just going to hit continue. All right. Again, no need to share any type of special information about yourself. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and click on, um, well, skip this step, I guess, because I didn't add anything. And now we can go ahead and get started. The first thing we need to do is we need to create something called a repository. And a repository is a place where you put your code on the web. Think of it like making a folder on your desktop. Maybe you've made a folder called HTML where you've been putting all your files. This is the name of the folder that we're going to put up on the web. So this is very important that you follow the rules very exactly. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the very top corner and you'll see a plus. When you click on the plus, there's something that says new repository. And this is the point where it's going to stop and ask you to verify your email address. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Once you verify your email, it should bring you back to this page. So I'm going to try clicking on the plus again and saying new repository. All right. This is where it's very important. This repository name has to be the same as your account name. So in my case, it's web designer for everyone dot github dot io. In my description, I can go ahead and put something like the website for web design for everyone. And the second thing you really want to make sure you do is click on this little button down here that says initialize this repository with the readme. Okay? That's it. I'm going to click create. And it takes sometimes a few seconds. Um, just to make me kind of see, everyone can see, that readme that I clicked on, that I created, it automatically generated a site called web designer for everyone. Oops. Dot github dot io. Oh, I messed up. I need to rename this because it was supposed to be web. Oh, actually, I was wrong. It is web designer for everyone. I typed my account name wrong. We're all good. As long as this part right here, it has to match the name of your account up here. All right. So now it's time to check to see if I have made a live website for everyone to see. So I'm going to copy this link right here webdesignerforeveryone.github.io. I'm going to copy it, and I am going to see what happens if we go here. And look, I actually have a website that's live to everyone. I didn't have to pay for anything. Um, I didn't have to sign up for anything. And GitHub Pages is generally accepted by everyone as a fairly secure place to put your code. Now, I haven't put any real code yet. And I'm going to cover that in a separate video because I want to keep the two ideas separate. Creating your GitHub account, which you only have to do once, and then uploading your code to GitHub, which you'll have to do multiple times. Now, just a few notes. 
take a few seconds between each step that I covered here. GitHub can get very busy and sometimes it might take a few minutes for uh, something to happen between you clicking OK or accept or upload. But hopefully from here you won't have too much problems. In the readings, I'll include links to other places you can look for help in creating your GitHub Pages account.